Hello, friends, and welcome to the last day of ApacheCon 2021. My name is Rich Bowen, and I am the Vice President of Conferences at the Apache Software Foundation. And we have been doing these things for 21 years now. Uh, 23. Counting's hard. But this has been the 35th ApacheCon, and those events have happened all over the world. We hope that in the years to come, we'll expand them to more continents. But uh, it's been it's been a great ride. That this this week we had almost thirty five hundred registrations, and we had about fifty percent fifty eight percent turnout. Um, with with free events, turnout tends to be on the lower side, and this is actually a pretty good number statistically. So I'm very pleased with that. The audience was split. Uh, from all over the world. We had 36% from North America, 36% from Europe, 20% from Asia, 3% from Africa, 3% from South America, and 2% from Australia and Oceania. So we really appreciate you all coming, especially those of you who are attending at terrible hours of the early morning and late night. Thank you to our speakers who gave talks at 2 and 3 in the morning. Uh, I'm, I'm also really pleased to announce that uh, over half of our attendees were here for the first time. And that's always exciting to me that we're drawing a new audience year after year. <clears throat> Once again, oh, um, right, before I move on to that, I want to mention that the videos will be starting to appear on YouTube in the coming days. Now, just to set expectations here, um, I will be traveling to another event next week, and so will several of my colleagues. And so we're going to get a slow start on the videos. We might try and get a few of the keynotes up this weekend, but I'm not, not promising that. And then the bulk of the other recordings will start going up in about a week's time. Do watch ApacheCon on Twitter for announcements of when these start to arrive. And we'll also announce it on the announce at apachecon.com mailing list, which I know a lot of you are on. <clears throat> the uh, t-shirt, this lovely t-shirt for the event is available for you to purchase at the URL that's on the screen. Um, if you look in the chat, uh, Ruth Seely is there in the chat and she'll give you the discount code that you can use when you order that. I'm not putting that on, on the, uh, the slide and the recording because this is gonna go out on YouTube. But uh, that's for you, our attendees. Please do feel free to use our discount code for a 25% discount. One last time, I wanna give a big thank you to our sponsors. Please go to our sponsor booths. Tell them how much you appreciate them sponsoring the event and look and see what their, their uh, products and services are around Apache software projects. Thank you to Google, our strategic sponsor, who were very instrumental in making this event happen. Also to our platinum sponsors, Huawei, Tencent, Instacluster, and Apple. To our gold sponsors, and um, I wanna make sure I don't miss anybody here. Our gold sponsors were AWS, Ivan, Gradle, Replicated, Red Hat, Baidu, Fighter, Cerner, Dremio, and Didi. Thank you to our silver sponsors. Spherex, Microsoft, Imply, Securinix, Datastack, and Crafter Software. And to our bronze sponsor, technical arts. These, these organizations made this event possible, and many of them also support the overall Apache Software Foundation and make that work possible. Big thank you to our sponsors. Now, this is our biggest event of the year, but we do have other smaller events throughout the year, most of which represent individual project communities. For example, in the coming weeks, we have the Pulsar Summits. Um, if you look at events.apache.org, 
there will always be a listing there of these uh, smaller, sometimes regional events, and we encourage you to participate in those. Also, I want to remind you that earlier in the week, you uh, you heard um, from one of our keynotes, Willem Zhang, about the Apache local communities. If you want to connect with a local group of enthusiasts in your community, look at community.apache.org for a listing of these local communities that you can be part of. <clears throat> I wanna take one last time to thank our, our volunteers that helped make this happen. I particularly wanna thank my, my uh, friends and colleagues, Ruth and Brian, who, who did a lot of the work, most of the work to put on this event. And uh, I know you've, you've primarily seen my face up here on stage, most of the actual work to put this together. And I hugely appreciate that. Over the coming weeks and months, please follow us on Twitter for continued updates about everything about this event and for announcements of what we'll be doing next year. That's still, that's still uncertain for the reasons that you all know, but we hope to be discussing and planning events for next year um, as soon as we've recovered from this event. Join us on Slack. That Slack channel runs all year long, and it's another place where you can discuss upcoming events. It's also a great place to connect with the topic communities, the track communities during this event. At the end of the day, don't leave. At 2030 UTC, we'll be having the last installment of our Birds of a Feather sessions. These are places where you can have uh, unstructured conversation about the things that you've learned during the day and meet some of the speakers that were involved in those sessions. And finally, once again, everything today is recorded and will be hitting YouTube over the coming two or three weeks. I do have uh, several more schedule changes to announce. <clears throat> there were two sessions that um, were, uh, were, which were canceled on Tuesday, which have been uh, rescheduled for today. That is microservices using Apache Sling with Dr. Yash Modi, that will be um, at 1500. And I messed up this slide. Hmm. Uh, there's another talk that was rescheduled for today and it looks like I pasted the same one twice. I, I'll, I'll put that information in the chat later on once I figure out what I did here. Um, and then we have two talks that were canceled. Step-by-step -step production Ready Apache Druid was canceled and drilling security data was also canceled for today. So if you were planning to attend those, please have a look at our schedule and see what else is going on at those times. So um, that's that's all I have to say. Let's let's move on to the main event. I have two keynotes to announce uh, to introduced today. Our first one is one that I'm, I'm particularly excited to hear what they have to say. Um, Allison Parker is Senior Program Associate in the Science and Technology Innovation Program at the Wilson Center. And Michael Weinberg is Executive Director of the Engelberg Center on Innovation Law and Policy at New York University Law. And they're going to be talking about how open hardware played a role in the effort to combat the COVID-19 virus. So I'll be stepping off stage here for just a moment to uh, do the backstage sound check with them, and I'll be right back. After that keynote, we will hear from Mark Shen from Tencent about how the Apache Way is used there at Tencent. So uh, hold on for just a moment. I'll be right back. 